Our top story this hour. A monitoring group says the latest round of U.S.-led airstrikes has killed at least 106 civilians in Syria's eastern province of Deir Azur. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says over 40 women and children are among those killed in the bombardments of the city of Mayadeen on Thursday and Friday. A large number of people are also believed to be missing or trapped under the rubble. According to the UK-based monitoring group, most of the victims were displaced families seeking refuge in the city's municipal building. Nearly a dozen Daesh terrorists are also among the dead. The US-led coalition frequently pounds towns and cities in Iraq and Syria. Washington says the strikes target terrorists, but facts on the ground show many civilians have died in the attacks. Well, to get more insight into this story, let's go live to Ontario in Canada to take to Jason Androhe, political commentator and analyst. Mr. Androhe, it's a pleasure to have you with us. So here, uh, the question that comes to mind is why are we seeing a repeat of such uh, airstrikes by the U.S.-led coalition in countries such as Syria, such as Iraq, as we had in the news, such as Yemen and Afghanistan, which entail a high civilian casualty. Uh, the, the airstrikes, which are supposedly aimed at targeting uh, terrorists or militants, but uh, instead they cause so many civilian deaths and injuries, and it seems there is no end to them. What's the reason, in your opinion? Well, in my opinion, uh, the reason this happens is due to the very nature of imperialism itself. The United States is there to stop a terrorist organization which they themselves are largely responsible for the creation of. They have no real concern for the people of those countries. Their goal is not to make their lives better or to save them from a terrible situation. Their goal is to go in, destroy these particular forces, and then leave. It is. It should be no secret that imperialism cares very little for the people that it occupies and it destroys. The, the goal of empire building, or in this case, uh, to maintain the stability of the empire, takes great precedence over the actual lives of everyday people who have to live with the decisions made by the U.S. government. The, the U.S. empire only really cares about stopping what affects them or to try to maintain as much of a control over those two particular countries as they can. As we've seen, Syria, the opposition to the, the legitimate government of Bashar al-Assad is continuing to fail in the face of successful government offensives. The United States is attempting to take as much ground as it can with its own forces in order to help create a divided country. And uh, Mr. Androhe, um, the other point is that, uh, in fact, these airstrikes which are carried out by the United States, and we have seen a rise in them since the coming to power of Donald Trump in different countries in the Middle East, uh, Iraq, Yemen, Syria, and Afghanistan, uh, among other places. Uh, these strikes, which are particularly carried out in Syria, are against the will of the uh, government in Damascus, and they happen without any authorization. Well, yes, they do, because the the whole purpose of the invasion is to undermine the government of Syria. And, and but then if they're not going to tell the government of Syria what they're trying to do, because they're not really trying to help them, then I see no reason why they would bother telling the civilians of the country as well. Because the U.S. is also sending a message. They're sending a message that we are here, we are the great power. Uh, despite the fact that your government may be winning, the empire is still standing over your shoulder and watching. And we will do however we please. We saw the same thing with the invasion of, of, of Iraq several years ago and the reckless invasion that the United States carried out with regards. Was, as, the, as we saw with some of the soldiers, their orders were to shoot anything that moves. See, the, the uh, under... President Trump, there's very little concern for presenting a particular happier image of the U.S. empire as there was under Barack Obama. Barack Obama, one of his great skills was making the empire look like a more friendly a kind of entity that was trying to uh, maintain stability in the Middle East rather than pursuing its own goals. However, with U.S. President Donald Trump, there seems to be no concern for image at all and just acts as rashly or 
as he sees fit. Okay, thank you so much for that analysis. Jason Andrew, a political commentator and analyst, joining us live from Ontario in Canada.